it's your girl Miss Kayla. I'm back with another video and this video is gonna be different. It's basically a reaction video on my old photos from when I had, you know, the jugs and a little gut. And I just wanted to share this with you guys, so let's get right into it. Okay, so the first photo I'm gonna be basically, as I'm in this video, I'm gonna be looking through the photos too. So these photos I have not seen in years and it's gonna be hella funny. So <laughs> let's get to the first photo. Okay, so this photo right here is back when I was, I believe, 19 or 20. Okay, so clearly I thought I was doing something because it was a photo shoot. And you guys see how my boobs were spilling out of my bra. Yes, your girl had some big old, you know, jumps that just I couldn't control. So I thought I was the shit in this photo. You know, I had the blonde going on and I did my own hair. So, you know, yeah, I really thought I was the shit. But this was like one of my favorite photos when I got my photos back. And I couldn't fit the bra. It was like I was being cheap because bras, you know, for big bust women, it is very expensive. So I used to just wear what I was able to afford. And I tried, I was doing like a double D, but I knew my boobs was bigger than that. So yeah, this photo <laughs> brings back a lot of memories because back in the day, I was just, you know, doing anything and trying to yeah, be out there. Okay, so the next photo that I'm going to is, okay, so this is a comparison photo that I'm about to show you guys. This was, okay, so you guys clearly see my gut hanging out and you see my other picture where it's like, flat tummy so your girl was getting it in in the gym but it was like I was still in the process so I wasn't at my goal weight in that picture on the 2014 picture but in 2012 y'all I felt like I really had let myself go in that year I had just had my daughter she was about actually no she was like six seven months and I was not working out I was eating out I was buying junk food I, was, I just didn't know anything about healthy eating or none of that so this picture i will always keep and look back on how far i came but yeah your girl had some big old things <laughs> they went down tremendously which i am so thankful for they tend to grow back like people carry their weight different and i'm not knocking people that's plus size or whatever but it was just uncomfortable for me i was getting bruises on my shoulders i didn't really get too much back pain but it was just like i couldn't wear certain things i wanted to wear like shirts that you know could show a little cleavage but i couldn't because it was like my blues would have been just there and wouldn't have you know it would have been just too much so it's still in the process in my head of trying to get a reduction i'm not sure i haven't really decided on that as yet but i will keep you guys updated on that so yeah this picture always bring a smile to my face because it's like girl you came a long way okay so the next picture is a picture of my face you guys can clearly see how fat my face was um i didn't notice this and it was crazy because you would never notice them until you take pictures. So when I was in my little weight loss journey through the whole year, I tell people, always take pictures because your pictures give you your best results. Pictures don't lie. So that's something that I did. I took a lot of pictures and this picture was, I had did my own hair too. So yeah, I was popping because you know, when you do your own hair, you know, it just, you just do it like you like to do it. You know, it just comes out a little bit better. But um, yeah, so. I don't do my own hair no more because I'm very lazy. I really don't. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this picture. This is a picture, again, when I was not in the process of my journey. I was just eating out, doing all types of things, eating all types of things, you know, just not paying attention to my health. And yeah, so you can clearly see I was a chubby girl after I had my daughter. Okay, so the next picture is you can clearly see my boobs, guys. Yeah, they were very, I had to wear two bras, not one. I had to wear a regular bra and a sports bra just to keep them in when I run and work out, which was so unnecessary. I feel like it's so unnecessary. Like, 
I feel like, damn, can I just wear one bra, you know, at least? Like, I just hate it. And then when you have the cute workout outfits and then you just want to wear your sports bra, you can't do that because your boobs are just spilling out and you got the other bra strap showing. I just hated it. But I thought I was doing something in this picture. As you can clearly see, my arms was up like this. But girls, <laughs> I wasn't doing anything. I was just faking it, honestly. I mean, I might have went for a run, but it was not a serious workout because in that apartment that I was living in, I wasn't taking it serious. I was just doing it here and there. So yeah, I wasn't really doing it like I was supposed to be, which it was like a slap in the face because it was like, you could have been got this over with back then, you know? And I really didn't have the time for a fro because my daughter was so young and you know, I was a stay at home mom at the time, so it was like, I was just, all my attention was on her. I really didn't have no type of, uh, like, a, like advice on what to do if you have kids and you wanna work out or lose weight. I was just a clueless girl in a relationship with kids and just focusing on my kids, which is, you know, what you're supposed to do. I'm so glad I was able to catch my weight before it got out of control. Okay, so the next photo, I love this outfit. This outfit actually was my sister's. And back in the day, we used to bartend and work at a club together. And yeah, so you can clearly see this outfit enhanced my boobs. When she tried it on, because my sister had small boobs, it didn't do that. So it was like, I can't, like I said, I can't wear certain stuff. So it was so annoying. And then on top of that, it said fall in love right across the boobs. So, Again, like, I, and them shoes, honey, them shoes was hitting. Like, I don't know where they went, but yeah. Those were our bartending days. I love this picture too. Okay, so the next picture. Okay, so this picture's not too bad. This was actually after, like two months after I gave birth to my daughter. She was born in November. My birthday's in January. So, honey, clearly I was wearing a girdle. And I still look like you know, I, I didn't care, it was my birthday. I was ready to have fun, drink alcohol, you know, tear it up, you know, do the whole nine yards. But yeah, I was actually uncomfortable. I was so uncomfortable and I didn't like my outfit because it was just so regular, the regular. And I was just like, you know, it could have been better, but what I really didn't like was my stomach. And because I just gave birth, it was like an excuse. But I've seen some snapback nowadays. These celebrities, their stomachs is going like from, you know, this to this. Their frame size is just like, how? But I know a lot of people now, they work out when they're pregnant. Back when I was pregnant, they told, my doctor told me, do not work out. And I'm like... Why? But it was just like something they didn't want pregnant women to do. And I wish I would have known that because it was like I would have, you know, did a little jogging, do a little lifting. These girls nowadays, they doing goddamn squats. They running. They doing ab work. I'm like, you know what? That kind of like made me sad. But that was the best birthday. I had my birthday. That was my um 22nd birthday. Yeah. Okay, so the next photo. Okay, so here's a good comparison photo of my face, you guys. So you see the face chubbiness, and then you see the other one. People used to make fun of me. They used to, they used to ask me if I was sick because I lost so much weight. They used to say, stop, you're losing too much weight. You look sick, you don't look right. People gonna do that, you know what I'm saying? But you just gotta do you. Whatever you like is what matters. You know, that's what anybody else has to say about you because it's your body. You're working hard for it. If you like to look like that, then look like that, okay? You cannot sit here and let someone judge you and make you feel like some shit because at the end of the day, they're not putting in that work. So. I, at that time, I was just like, okay, you can say I look sick. I work hard for mine, but at the end of the day, you look like some shit too. So that's how I used to look at things. I've heard it all, you know, and I've heard it all from my close ones, which really hurt me at some point of time. But it was just like, it is what it is. I don't care. As long as I feel comfortable, that's all that matter. So yeah, that picture, that's why I was telling people always take pictures and do comparison photos because you really see results. Okay, so the next picture is another boob picture. The girls was out there. I lost a lot of 
weight in my boobs from running and cardio. If you're having problems with, you know, um, your boobs and you want them to go down a size, I suggest cardio, but don't do it like outrageously because then you get loose skin and that's something I had a problem with. I ended up getting like a little bit of loose skin and I started to see stretch marks. So like slow down on the cardio when it comes to, you know, trying to lose weight. Okay, so the last photo I am going to show you guys is this one. This was my son's birthday party and my friend, she blurred out the stomach area because I was wearing, again, a girdle and it wasn't holding it in as much and it was all bulky and stuff. I really hated wearing those things like... Wearing them to lose them to lose weight is another thing, but just wearing them to cover up yourself was just like it's so uncomfortable when you sit down and then you gotta keep adjusting it because it's just moving and it won't stay in place. Like I hated it, but I love this picture. I had my little Pearson going on, my Bob. I didn't do that hairstyle. I forgot who did it, but yeah, I will always keep these pictures for memories. And you guys, it's not easy to lose weight. Some people it is, some people it isn't. It depends on the person. Um, like I said, take millions of pictures. They are going to amaze you when your journey starts kicking in, I'm telling you. Because at first, you might not see the progress, but when you go to your pictures down the line, like back in the day, and you put them together, you're gonna be like, wow. The scale might not mean something, or your um, measuring might not mean something, but when you take them pictures, honey, they are like, can't nobody tell you shit because the pictures is receipts, okay? So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to do so. And I love you guys as always. Comment below tips for people that's looking to lose weight, you know, or just ideas in general if you're a stay-at-home mom because people, you know, need the help. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because I love you guys so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys.